It's been nearly a week since the evacuation order was lifted in East Palestine, Ohio, where a train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed on February 3rd. You, you might remember three days after the derailment, fearing an explosion, authorities controlled what they called a controlled release of the toxic chemicals. They burned off, which created a massive black cloud over the town. And while the EPA has tried to reassure the public that the air and water in the area are safe, not all residents are convinced, and they are incredibly concerned about the long-term potential impacts both on the environment and the economy. CNN's Jason Carroll is in East Palestine, Ohio. And Jason, Ohio Governor DeWine gave an update on this just a short while ago. What did he have to say? He did, he did. And one of the headlines coming out of this update from the governor as well as state health officials, Jake, is that they're now strongly recommending that those who, vac who evacuated and returned home, some of those folks, they're saying you should be drinking bottled water until further notice. This is especially true, they say, of pregnant women and also women who are breastfeeding. Also included in that are folks who have private wells. And so this announcement just coming out just a short while ago, they're saying that, again, uh, most of the contaminants have been contained, but they want to wait for more testing to come back um, from the municipal testing that is still outstanding. So right now, in terms of the cleanup effort, they're focused on four waterways. Uh, they do say that since the train derailment and since the controlled release, they say that now an estimated 3,500 fish have died from 12 different species. We've spoken to a number of people here on the ground who are hearing about all this information. They are extremely frustrated and, quite frankly, really worried about their safety. The governor was asked about that. He said if he lived in the area, would he feel safe being at home? I think that I would be drinking the bottled water, um, and I would be continuing to, uh, um, to find out what the tests were showing as far as the air. Um, I would be alert and, and concerned, but uh, I think I would probably be back in my house. Again, state officials say the air quality is safe. They are still waiting for some more test results on the water quality, but a lot of people here feeling very unsafe at the moment. Yeah, understandably Jake. so. And the town is inviting members of the community to get together tomorrow. What do we expect at that? From everything that we've heard here on the ground, expect a lot of fireworks. Jake? All right, Jason Carroll in East Palestine, Ohio. Thanks so much. Uh, another person who's been following this disaster closely is consumer advocate and environmental activist Aaron Brockovich. Aaron, welcome back to the lead. The EPA has tried to reassure residents of the East Palestine, Ohio area that any immediate danger has passed, but government officials confirmed approximately 3,500 fish have died in Ohio's waterways after the derailment when asked about those deaths and reports of people getting headaches and sore throats. The health director for the state of Ohio says it doesn't look like air quality is to blame. What do you make of all this? Um, oh my gosh. Well, after just listening to that report, <clears throat> just kind of goes to show the delay of information that's getting out to the people and addressing their concerns. Uh, since this happened on February 3rd, I've been hearing from the community as early as February 4th about um, children having breathing issues, onset of asthma attacks, rashes, projectile vomiting, getting evacuation orders, not knowing where to go to shelter in place, a lot of confusion, a lot of mis miscommunication, if no communication. Here we are 10 days out, and now you're just hearing the governor, as uh, your reporter just stated, now there's an issue with don't drink the water. This is precisely what's concerning this community because all the information isn't in yet. Look, it was a train derailment, 10 cars of a very hazardous chemical, vinyl chloride, that was set to explode, that they put into a controlled burn, and the information isn't all in. So what assurance are you going to give this community that it is, in fact, safe? which has been their concerns all along. And now we're hearing drink bottled water. So this is a bad situation for this community. And they have every right to be concerned. And the reports go on to animals that have mm -hmm. died, chickens that have died, beyond the fish. So this is so mismanaged and 
such a systemic issue going on in all of these environmental issues that aren't being addressed and leaders really need to show up at that town hall and be present and hear what's happening to that community. So, so it's very frustrating and concerning. The Ohio EPA says it's not sure how much of these chemicals spilled into the soil or the water. They also acknowledge that the cleanup and monitoring of the derailment site could, could literally take years. Um, is this an, an indication that people should not live in East Palestine, Ohio, or the surrounding area? That's exactly what the community wants to know. And as long as this information isn't given to them, full transparency, whether you do or don't know something, you leave them in a horrible, vulnerable position to return to an environment that is unsafe. And that is absolutely unacceptable from local, state, and any federal authority. Look, this community wants to believe that the oversight is protecting them, but we're hearing way too many stories, how long it could be for cleanup, we don't have all the data yet. Don't drink the water. Why would they want to live there? So you um, at this point, I don't think there's faith or trust. Yeah. Jake, you've been calling what the government agencies are telling them. You've been calling on the Biden administration to be better about communicating with the residents of East Palestine, Ohio, um, who, as you know, feel that as though they've been left in the dark. What should the Biden administration, what should the Biden EPA do differently? show up and hear that community, see that community, listen to that community, go out there, find the dead animals, do the testing, start doing water testing and being transparent with them. Look, by not showing up, by not addressing this, that a national train derailment of very hazardous information, you do nothing but create a vacuum of an upset community, a misinformed community, a distrusting community, and it adds to rumors, speculation, losing trust, and a lot of theories. Show up and answer their questions, be present, act like you care about what's going on in your backyard in this country, and be involved and not just sit there and give them a bunch of misinformation, and then you wonder why they're frustrated. Show up. What are you expecting at the uh, open house, the town hall tomorrow? Well, so right before we came on, I've heard that they've changed that town hall, which would be a format for the community to ask and get questions answered. It's been turned into an informational desk where you can go and get information, of which I understand Norfolk Railroad will be there. That just smells. So... The town hall isn't going to be what is expected. So I expect there will be even more outraged and upset citizens who now aren't going to get their questions answered. Rather, the narrative will happen for them instead of us hearing their narrative of what happened to them. Aaron Brockovich, thanks so much.